This is Jordan with Scientific Toolworks, and welcome to Understand. Are there certain non-standard file extensions in your project preventing Understand from analyzing those files correctly? Well, I have the solution for you. In this video, we'll go over how to add custom file extensions to your project configuration in order to give you the most accurate project possible. Here we have a sample project containing some C and Python code. This file we're looking at is a UPY file. These are Python files with a custom extension that corresponds to the Python application that ships with Understand, which we call UPython. Let's analyze the project by going to Project Analyze All Files. Okay, now that we're done analyzing, you can see Understand still isn't picking up any data on the entities in this UPY file, and it isn't highlighting the Python syntax correctly. You can tell by right-clicking any of the functions, seeing if there's viewable information, which there's not. Luckily, there's a quick and easy fix for this type of problem. Just go to Project in the top-level menu and select Configure Project. From this configuration interface, go down to File Types. Here you can see a list of all the extensions that come default with Understand, along with the file types they represent. Let's scroll down and make sure that UPY isn't recognized, which it shouldn't be. It's not, but we can see that Python is with a regular PY file. To create a new custom extension, simply select New and then type in the extension, select the language, and select OK. Now let's double check that we've actually configured this project to read Python files in the Languages section. So we're going to go up to the Languages section of the interface and select Python and press OK. Now we're going to reanalyze the project. And now we can see that the syntax is highlighted in our UPY file and the data has been properly analyzed by Understand. Let's confirm this by right-clicking Test Global again, and now we can see we can view information on that function, and even pull up the API info. I hope this short explanation of how to add a custom file extension to your project was helpful. For more information on Understand, visit support.sitools.com.